Hey guys, um, in this video, I'm going to be trying to run it a little shorter, but because I'm sick and all, so if, that's why I look like crap, but I'm just a little bit sick, but in this video, I'm going to teach you how to tie one, not very simple, but not too hard, like in an inter intermediate level of tying flies. So first off, I'm going to start out with a size 10 hook and we're going to clamp it into my vise so my fly tying gear is not that good but it, it works fine Pull this out. okay so we have this little size 10 hook then we're going to take a purple bead and slide it down the shank of the hook like this then we clamp it into the vise. So then we're going to take this colored thread right here. Um, it can be white thread, just any thread will work basically. But I like this tan thread a lot more because it doesn't give too much flash in the water to the point where it'll scare all the fish away but it also doesn't it's just a nice colored thread for tying flies and I don't know why so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start wrapping in front of the bee a little bit So we're going to start wrapping in front of the bead and make it a little thicker than the hole of the bead so that it won't slide off, making sure we don't cover the eye of the hook. Then we're going to do that same thing but behind the bead, making sure we don't mess up the eye of the hook. So once we're done with that, you can see where I have my two fingers placed on the line. I twist like this, bring it over the top of the hook, and pull. And so that's basically how you put the head on this fly. Alrighty. Time for step two of how to tie this fly. Step two is you're going to take your materials. So for this fly, I've got a squirrel tail, piece of cotton, and some glittery ribbon. So what you're going to start off with is your squirrel tail. So it just can be any fur that's kind of black, just a darker color. So you're going to cut off about this much of the squirrel tail. and just shove it around the hook and start twisting it firmly so that it won't fall off trying to keep your fly as neat as you can so I'm just going to go back down a little bit farther here and boom that squirrel tail is secured on let me show you how to do this um, Finishing knot again, twist and pull it over. You can get two of these, twist, pull it over. Boom. So that's basically how you put your first material on, which I use squirrel hair. Or squirrel tail fur. So our second material is going to be this little piece of glittery ribbon we're gonna fold it fold an inch long segment of it in half long ways and twist it on around the hook making sure that there's none showing up in front towards the head like so you can kinda see that so, 
We've got squirrel tail, head, and this little glittery ribbon, but you can use any kind of ribbon you want to. Then, you remember this knot? Twist, come up. I'll try and get it so that you can see. So make a little loop in the line. Pull it over the head of the hook and pull down on your string like that. So we're almost finished. We just have one more material left, and that's cotton. In my opinion, cotton is the hardest to get on the hook. Oh, good. We're running good time right here. All right, so you want to pull off a little piece about this long, fold it in half, Make it look kind of like wings. And stick it on and wrap it around like so. Just like you put that squirrel tail on. Just like you put that glittery um, string on. And then you want to fold it over the top. And then, you can see, you part these two pieces, you part the cotton into two pieces, and then put your thread through the middle of the two, and wrap, and start wrapping slowly, but strongly. And then, take your finishing knot, twist, come behind the head. pull down and now do that one more time making sure to keep it kind of neat and boom there you have it now this fly is supposed to imitate Okay, I want to keep this as short as I can. This is supposed to imitate a small little bug swimming in the water. So yeah, guys. That's about it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And down below, comment what you want me to do in my next video. Thank you, guys.